Well, thanks guys. We are in Monticello, New York at the Monticello Motor Club and here to test drive this. There's a brand new Mini in the house. This is the third Mini GP. There have been two other versions of this vehicle, but is this new one for 2021 worthy of the GP brand? instantaneously feel the amazing power. When it comes to style, the GP has a look that fits into the entire GP family, the two other generations before. Interestingly enough, these carbon fiber plastic wheel arch trims are very unique. They're actually aerodynamic as well, and they're each numbered which one of 3,000. This happens to be 2020 model out of 3,000. 18 inch wheels are standard on this vehicle. They had an 18 eight because they needed the traction going around the track. When you come off the headlight, what you'd normally see in the uh, two door hard top would be a fog light here. Nope, this is now an air intake and it's on both sides because that air needs to flow around the wheels at all time, keeping the brakes as cool as possible. Under the hood, you'll find Mini's GP engine, two liter, four cylinder, twin powered turbo under the hood. It'll get this vehicle going at 5.2 seconds, zero to 60 miles an hour. Interestingly enough, this is the same engine outputting 301 horsepower that is in the John Cooper Works Countryman. However, this actually gets a faster top speed of 165 miles an hour. A lot to do with the fact that the vehicle is much lighter than the Countryman. And 165 miles an hour makes it the fastest Mini ever. So what is the competition for the Mini GP? Well, there are three vehicles. The first is the Veloster N from Hyundai, which is also a front wheel drive. And of course, this is a front wheel drive. And then there's the Honda Type R. Now, you do get more doors in the Veloster and in the Honda, and you also get a second row, which is deleted here, and probably some different kind of setup as far as the tech is concerned. But this vehicle is a halo vehicle for Mini. The one vehicle that comes closer to it, which is actually all wheel drive, is the Golf R. However, this being the halo car for Mini doesn't really have any competition because Mini owners dream of owning a GP because the track performance is second to none. So how much is a brand new Mini GP gonna cost you if you're gonna go to a dealership? Well, remember, they only made 3,000 of them and the price is a single price, $45,750. That includes destination and handling. But here's the interesting thing. Pre-COVID, all of the Mini GPs were completely sold out. They had sold all 3,000 of them. Because COVID came around, some people weren't able to complete their orders for one reason or another. And a little bird tells me that there are actually 12 available to purchase right now. It does come with a 36,000 or three year warranty, which gives you oil filters, oil changes, air filters, etc. If you exceed that, then you can actually buy a plan going to four, five, or six years. Is the value good? For that price, the thrills just keep coming. I'm Nick Miles.